hey hey, I am Izzy Noodles. Welcome back to the final part of Crystal Skulls, in which we have finally entered the monastery. Nice. Okie dokie, you come on in. So we've got a bit of a flyby of the area. So what the situation is, we've got a room left and right. There's also two rooms on the top left and right. You can't see their doors because they're just behind the two far columns. So we need to grab a blue crystal from each room and then we can use them right here in front to open up that door. But also there's two more big red doors behind that door. So we'll have to open up them as well. So there's a couple of these rooms, it doesn't matter which you do first, you can either do the bottom, like either of the bottom two rooms first, but you cannot do the top two rooms first. So let me show you what we can interact with right now. So we've got a lever right here. There is a jump switch up there. There's also a jump switch on that column that is uh, just there in front of Lara. Lara's blocking the column. So there's a jump switch there. And there is another jump switch, excuse me, sir, <laughs> on the opposite column to that. Here it is. So it was probably not obvious where I was trying to point to for that other jump switch, but it is on the opposite side of the column, on the opposite side of the room. So mirrored like this. So firstly, I will go for this jump switch. So you can either choose this one or the one on the opposite side, doesn't matter. So this one has opened that door and the other one on that column will open this door. So choose one, doesn't matter which one of these two you do first. So come on in and we do need to step on this tile to open this door. And what the deal is, we need to turn off these flames so that's easy, that's the tile straight in front of me. It is timed so obviously once it's off we need to get to the other side. Okay so these jumps are a little tricky. It's just practice. So something like that. So it does take practice. So here we have a small med pack and we have our first blue crystal. Is it a crystal? Let me check. It's a gem. It is a gem. We need to get this right. So before I leave this room, we can see on the left hand side there is a gate down in the water, so that's on the very left side of my screen. And I'm going to go and open up that door so we can get that secret. So I think that's the last secret, is it? I might be very wrong, I'm not very good at keeping up. <laughs> okay, so to leave the room you need to go through that crawl space up there because the door will not open. But to open the underwater gate, it's this odd tile here. So this is timed, so just hop on in, make your way there. It's not really all that tight, so don't be panicking. And we are in. So here it is. And also along with the secret, we have some Uzi clips. And a small med pack. So that gate has closed behind you so to get out you just need to follow the passage. Okay and climb on up. And just pull this lever to open this gate. Okay. 
So one last thing to do before we leave. You've probably just spotted a jump switch. You may have spotted it sooner. Or you may not even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we need to go across a couple of the tiles again. There's the jump switch higher on the wall. And this will open the next door. So we need to pull this jump switch before we leave. Okay, so this one is a little easier. You don't have to twist nearly as much. Okay, so that is the top left door, but I will ignore that for now. I actually can't do that straight away anyway. I need to do the top right hand room first. So it kind of has an order of how you need to do this, but it doesn't matter if you do the bottom right or bottom left room first. So you don't need to stand on that trigger. I kind of just stepped on it. <laughs> okay. So next I'm going to open up that bottom left room. So come to this side. And here is the jump switch I was being so confusing about. So you need to use the block for that. Because we've not got a gap in the railing. So we need to be a bit higher so we can jump over the railing. Okay, so we did lose quite a bit of health that time. So I think that one is actually a little higher than the first one. I got a little lost for a moment as well. I started meandering. <laughs> But anyway, come on in. And there is the blue gem. So that's the second one, the one in this room. And that is a long way down, so we're gonna need to do some climbing. So in the water, there are some oozy clips. So just grab them and then we can jump out so that we can start climbing. So most of the jumps are easy enough but some of them can be a bit tricky so don't be worrying about saving too much. So this first one is easy peasy. This next one not so easy peasy. So it can be confusing where to stand, so come to the edge and take one step back and then do a standing jump and miss. So yeah, sometimes she misses, I have no idea why. Let's do a jump from all the way forward. Well that works, yeah, all the way forward. <laughs> if you keep failing, take a step back. Okay, another easy peasy jump. And here you just want to jump up and Lara's hands are at a tile section. You can see the pattern doesn't quite line up and so from here you want to take one step up and then just flip back and turn and grab this. Next is easy peasy, just want to grab this and shimmy all the way along. So I do love these obstacle course type sections, they're pretty cool. Okay, and from here, camera's a bit odd so just you might want to walk so you don't run off the edge and then run on over to this ladder. Okay, and then just hop over to this gap in the ledge and shimmy around. Huh. 
And then we've got this ladder section just here. So this is here so that Lara can get her footing and then just flip back. So now just hop over to here as well. So we've made quite a bit of distance so this is a good spot to have a save. Okay so from here you just want to do a standing jump and then just grab the edge of this next ledge. And this one is under a ledge so you do need to grab in the air to be able to slide into that gap. So once you hit the slope just jump back to here. And to here and then you can just hop across the corner and now we can't climb into here we want to crawl along there so oh, I didn't mean to do that <laughs> okay so you just want to be able to grab the edge so that you hang and then you can climb on in so you do need to press the crouch button for that so now just shimmy along nope we're gonna crawl along we can hop to here and from here we can actually grab a med pack just in that space so this can seem like a tricky jump so if you're uncertain if you're gonna actually land in the gap you can press the action button so that she flings her arms out and you'll slide in okay so and then climb on up here and then we are at the top Cool beans, and here is jam number two. So before we head down, we need to press this button. Okay, and that has opened the top right hand room. Okay, so now just make your way down. And you can just use the water tried to do an epic swan dive but failed. <laughs> as long as we live, it's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna head up to those top rooms. So we cannot yet do the left hand room, we need to do the right And if we have a look inside, it gets very noisy. So there's a challenge through there that will open one of those doors. We can go there now. There's a button to open this door here, but I will ignore that for now. I'll come back to that once I've got all the blue gems. And to the left, there is a blue gem behind that gate. So we just need to get that gate open. And it is this jump switch up here that will do that. So we just need to pull this block. We're going to use some monkey bars to get to that jump switch. I think I've just called it a lever, <laughs> but yeah, jump switch, you know what I mean. So we need to use the block to reach the monkey bars. So you don't need to pull it all the way to the end, maybe a couple of spaces from the end will be fine. So how's this? Is this okay? Yes. Okay, and then just grab the jump switch and the gate is open. Nice, easy peasy. So now in this room I'm gonna grab this water skin from this pedestal. So if we have a look through here into the left hand upper room we can actually see some scales. So that's actually what's going to open this gate on the opposite side. So we've got a gem just like in this room behind a gate. So we need to fill the water skin now so we can use it on them scales. So you just want to come back outside. Deal with the tiger. 
kinda good. Well, it's kinda stuck anyway. It's okay, Lara needs a new fur coat. It's fine, it's okay to kill the tigers. <laughs> okay, so in this puddle is where we can fill the water skin. Nice, and then we can just head back inside. And before I rush upstairs, I'm now going to pull this lever that's over here. Okay, and that is in the room, in the top left room, that has the scales. And fun fact, you can't shoot the monks. As you can see, you can't even target them. So they are invincible. Okay, so come on in to this left-hand room. So that's the gate we have just opened. We also have this hatch. And here's the scales. So let's go ahead and use the water skin. So it does say it contains three liters, but no. Yes, please. It doesn't matter how many litres it is, it's just... It is a water skin, and you use it once. Okay, so now we've got that. I'm going to open the two doors now. We have all four blue gems. So there's this section in this room. And on the opposite side, in the right-hand room, there's another section where we can open the doors. So I'm closer to here, so I will open this one first. Okay, so you can't flip out of gaps, so you'll just have to turn around and drop out. Make your way to the other end of the room. And here is a gate. So to open the gate, you just simply need to press this button here. So once you do, you need to jump back because there is a boulder there to squish you and you need to jump. You can't just hop back because you are not out of the way of the boulder and you will get squashed. So in here, the lever we want to pull is up there in order to open one of the doors. And if we have a look around, there's a jump switch there and a jump switch there. Let's look in the water. Okay, so there is an underwater ceiling lever. Cool. And so that has, op uh, that has raised this block here in front of this jump switch, so we cannot reach that jump switch without those blocks. So we have a second underwater ceiling lever. And that has raised the block in front of the other switch, so now we can pull the jump switches. Okay, so nothing has happened yet. We actually need to pull both of the jump switches in order for the next action to happen. Okay, so what has happened? So pulling both of the jump switches has raised this block. So hop on up and we can run and jump and we can reach this and now we can head to the lever but before I do that there is a small med pack just over in this very sneaky gap okay and now just hop back and head to the lever So that is door one open. So now we can leave and head out so that we can do the next puzzle. Okay, 
Okay, so to leave we actually need to use this block because the gap where we came from is a bit too high. Okay, so you don't need to pull it any further. You can if you want, but you can easily just grab the edge, just here. Okay, and now we're going to head to that super noisy room on the right hand side. Okay, so just press this button so that we can enter. And there's some unnecessary music just there. <laughs> so have a look around, there is this button. And this will allow us to start climbing, so it's raised this block to allow us to get up. So just hop over to- oh, whoops, whoopsie daisy. Okay, try again, so we can reach this with the block we've just raised. Okay, and be careful of this flame. So when the flame has completely gone, as you are standing on the edge of the tile, take a hop forward and then do a standing jump with a grab. So just throw yourself to the next pole and then wait for this next flame to go out. There we go. And head on up this ladder. Okay, so come to this wooden section, you can drop down, but it will start to break away, so just hop to the side. And now this next jump might seem a bit tricky, but it's not too difficult. You want to run and jump to that slope, but you want to make sure you go down backwards so that you grab the bottom of it. So we're gonna then climb up so that we can flip back and turn and grab the edge of this section where the boulder is. So let's go ahead and do that. So run and jump and then veer a little bit so that you can slide backwards. And then you want to be all the way to this left side and then pull up and flip back and grab. So wait for the boulder and then we can run and jump forward. And I have never been hit by that pendulum. So I don't know whether this one's just decoration and <laughs> keep you on your toes, make you think you're gonna get hit but I don't believe I ever have. So from here, you're heading to this pole and across and up this ladder. Let's just have a save while we've made some distance. Okay, so from here you can run and jump into those breakaway tiles, so, whoops, that's, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, so let's try again, <laughs> run and jump to the breakaway tiles, so just keep running along, then you can hop to here, and I'm just going to bypass this room, just so I can pick up some Uzi clips. Let's come on in now. And you want to avoid the circular tiles. They will set you on fire. So let's just go ahead and pull these two levers. Okay, so 
they have raised this block so that we can climb up. Because like I said, these sections are not ladders in this later level, so we can now come up here using the block, and we want to move this pushable block all the way to the end so that we can reach that gap up there. as far as you can get it. You want to get to the other side, so the quickest way to do that, and the easiest, is just to grab the top edge of the block and shimmy all the way around. Okay, so now just push it along once more. Okay, and then just hop onto the block climb on up. And in here there are a couple of bats. Okay, so once you've dealt with them we've got this breakaway tile, so just trigger that and then just wait for it, so that way you can easily just grab this and safely make your way down. And there's nothing in this room, so let me just show you whereabouts we are in the level, so you see we've just moved that block. So, it's cool how many windows there are, I love that. But now, just come and press this button. And we can see that has opened the second door. It's also done something else, so from here you do not want to just jump back. Because you will just jump straight down into this hole. So you can easily just hold this, and yes, we are dropping into the path of a boulder, but it's okay it's going to push us up like so, and I think that looks awesome. But now we've done what we need to do here, we can actually make our way back, so just leave and then we can place the gems. So you see the flame, you saw the light behind Lara, once that's gone out you can drop down to that section. And down here, and we're at the bottom, here we go. So that door does close behind you. Nice. So now we can start placing those gems. Come. So we see these two doors now, so firstly I'm going to come to the right because there is a crowbar just here. And now if I actually show you what the situation is, we can see that we need a star item, a star shaped item in order to open this next door. So you do need that crowbar and now come into this left room. So we've got some shotgun shells sitting here. And we can see that there is a crawl space right under that hatch. So no matter how much you try, you cannot reach the crawl space. So let's just have another look around. There's a button. So what did that do? It dropped the hatch. So that's not really going to help us get to the crawl space from down here. What we actually want to do is we want to go back up to that top left hand room and drop down. So that's a very cool mechanic, I love it. Certainly got me stumped for a while. So up we come, here we are. Okay, so just, oops, try and drop down the hatch and then let go and grab and pull up into the crawl space. Mm, 
nice and in here is a star shaped item so we do need the crowbar for this so be sure you have the crowbar and this is just labeled as a star so once you've got that you can make your way out it so we can head on in. Now there is a tiger so I'll go ahead and just grab my shotgun. Just give it all one shot to the face. Oops, maybe two depending how close it is. Okay and so in here we've got three doors. So in front of that one there is a brazier there is nothing in front of the one straight ahead behind the tree so that's something we'll need to open somewhere else and that one has a button so that must be our starting point so firstly I'm gonna grab another secret so that's up on the roof okay so you just want to shimmy to the spot where you can pull up and then you just want to hop up here So you can come down into this little section just to grab some oozy clips. Okay, and now just head on up. Whoop, I'm stuck under the roof. Okay, and there is the secret over there. So you can easily just do a running jump. And here we go, we've got quite a few items with the secret. So there's a small med pack, Uzi clips, and shotgun shells. So now I'll hop back to the roof. So there is a slope just here, so be careful. Nice. And if you hit the higher point of this red roof section, you'll not take damage, but just make sure you grab. There we go. Done. Okay, so let's head on over to this door now. Okay, so what is in here? So if we hop on in, there are torches. Okay, so let's get out with our torch. So this is kind of annoying, you have to wade through the water. come to this gap where there is no railing and to get out can be very misleading you simply just want to jump up and press forward so that she does that she slightly hops forward uh, so, well not hop but she slightly moves forward as you jump up so that's how that works so and now we need to light our torch and then we'll use it to open up that next door so there's no flame in that area where I was, that smaller area, so just come back through here, find a flame. Oh look, there's a flame. Okie dokie. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and light this. So we don't need the torch now, so get rid of it. Come on in, and there is this tiny key here. This is the sanctuary key. So once you pick that up, you will spawn a couple of tigers. So I'll just use what Uzi bullets I have. nice and there are also some shotgun shells in the corner so now just make your way to that other door because that opens once you pick up that sanctuary key
Okay, so I recommend saving before you come on in, because this is the room that has the boss fight. So in the water there are some shotgun shells. Okay, and just under here, just shoot that, and there is a large med pack. And as you go further into the room, you will spawn two dragon heads, so that's so easy to deal with. Uh, the door also closes behind you, so I made it look really long-winded last time I played. And if you have a look by the door on the opposite side, there is something on the right-hand wall. There is a keyhole, but that's currently covered over, so you can't use the key. So that's for the sanctuary key. You can't use the key until you defeat the boss. So I'm going to grab my shotgun. You can stand in the water, so it's a bit more long-winded. Um, you can't use the shotgun, but you can use your other weapons that you have, the pistols and the Uzis. And when you're ready, here we go. So just use the look button to swap targets. Didn't mean to jump. So this is not a thing I thought of last time. I was too much of a noob. I didn't know to press the look button and to swap targets. four shots each. There we go. Smashing. So go ahead and use the sanctuary key. An empty pedestal. Something got taken away from here. Let's see what this place has got instead. Nice wall to bridge. It's more than just a decoration. Three keys open the way to the skulls. Question is, where are they? Here's your answer. The what now? I'm going to Melanesia. I think I know where this key's from. Okay, so we have just picked up a key labelled as a Vanuatu key. So once you've got that, you can head out and end the game. So there we go. So we will have the Vanuatu key when we start Crystal Skulls 2. That is something we will use there. And fun fact, Vanuatu is in the Pacific Islands. I'm not certain if it's the same chain of Pacific Islands as the South Pacific Tomb Raider level. But yeah, we will be heading there, which is actually close to Australia. And I do recommend you check out Crystal Schools 2. I already have that done. And it is an epic game. So take time for yourself to play it as well. And I will see you there. Take it easy, guys and girls.